We are going to use Minitab to estimate a population proportion. I have been hired by the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Department of Health now, and one of the questions that's been asked of me is, Eric, find out what percentage of nurses working in Pennsylvania right now are male. Whew. Well, I could, of course, look up the records of all nurses working in Pennsylvania, but that's a lot of people, so I've decided to do this with a sample. I have taken a simple random sample of 250 nurses in Pennsylvania, and I've just recorded their gender, if whether they're female or male, and I want to use that sample to create a 95% confidence interval. So I'm going to create a 95% confidence interval of the percentage of nurses in Pennsylvania that are male. Okay, to do that, I'm going to use Minitab. I'm gonna, I put all my stuff in column one, so now I'm gonna have Minitab calculate that confidence interval for me. It will also give me the best point estimate, which is the proportion that I would say if I were just giving a single number. All right, so how do I do that? I'm gonna go up here to stat. I'm doing a statistical test, and this is basic statistics. Now here, what do I want? Well, I am looking at a percentage or a proportion. I have one sample of nurses, and I am looking at a proportion, so I'm gonna to go to one proportion. All right, now I'm going to say that I have one or more samples each in a column, or summarize data are my two options. At the moment, I actually have all of my data in a column. I only have one column, so I have one sample, it's in a column, and that's what I'm going to use. So then I have to tell it which column that's in. So that column is gender. Now note, Minitab can only do this if there's only two possible answers in that column. Everyone's either a female or a male. If there were females, males, and boogoos, I just made that up, Minitab would get mad at me. It would say, wait, I can't do it. There's more than two different answers in that column. All right, so now this is great, but I want to do one more thing. I wanted to work at 95% confidence, so I want to make sure my confidence level's right. It will be, because that's the default for Minitab, but you'll see my confidence level is 95%. And I'm going to use the alternative hypothesis of not equal. We're not actually doing a hypothesis test, but when I'm doing parameter estimation, I'm just going to leave that as a not equal. This is special for proportions. It gives me a method. I can either do the exact method, which uses the binomial distribution, or the normal approximation. I'm going to use the exact method because it'll give me actually a better answer. If I were doing this by hand, when statisticians did parameter estimation of proportions by hand, they did it with the normal distribution because the binomial distribution is way too many calculations for humans, but it's not too many for computers. So I will get a slightly different answer than if I did this by hand, if I do the exact method. And now I'm going to say OK, and here's my results. It tells me, first, this, there were 22 males, the event was male, it counted males, that's great. If it had counted females, then everything would be off, but I would just take one minus all these numbers and I would get the numbers I wanted. But there were 22 males out of 250 people. So that is 8.8%, .088 was my sample proportion and that would be my best point estimate. My 95% confidence interval you'll see is right here. So let me summarize that. With 95% confidence, the proportion of male, or the proportion, let's say, of nurses in PA who are male is between 0 0.056 and 0 0.130. I round it. I hope that's okay with everybody. Or I actually asked you to do it for percentages, so let me phrase that in percentages. With 95% confidence, the percentage of nurses in PA who are male is between 5.6% and 13%, 13.0%. Excellent. That was perfect. Let me show you if I'd wanted to do it as summarized data, I could have. Let's do it again. Let's 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 work at let's work at 99% confidence and use summarized data just to show you. I actually had all of these in a column, but let's say I didn't. Let's say I had just found out. I had asked somebody and they said, yeah, out of the 250, I found out 22 of them were male. I could do the same thing again, stat, basic statistics, one proportion, but instead of actually using data in a column, if I didn't have it, I could tell Minitab I was gonna give it summarized data. Minitab would ask me for two things, the number of events, and the number of trials. The events are the same as the successes. In this case, I was counting males. So males are my events, my successes. That is 22. 
out of my trials was 250. And then I wanted to work at 99% confidence this time, so let's click Options and change that 95 to a 99. I won't change this. I want that to be not equal. I'm still going to use the exact method and say OK, OK. And you're going to see I get a similar but not quite the same answer. My confidence interval is a little bit wider. It's still 8.8%. 8.8% of my sample was male, and that's my best estimate of the percentage of nurses that are male. But my confidence interval is a little bit wider because I worked at a higher confidence level, so I had to extend it. So with 99% confidence, confident, the per, no, let's do it as percentages. The percentage of nurses in PA who are male is between 4.8% and 14.4%. Excellent work.